This video is about interviews go wrong in the most popular sports in the world. Welcome to Diverse Top, and let's start with boxing. Mike Tyson. A candid and intense Mike Tyson as he readies for his fight against Francois Boda. As the week leading up to the fight unfolded, Tyson was feeling increasingly aggressive and ready to take down his opponent, which he did. Mike, uh, Francois Botha, 6-1 to one underdog. Are there any concerns on your part? I don't know anything about that. I don't know nothing about numbers. I just know what I can do. How about Kill the... this mother... Okay. How about the 19 months off? Does what that... about it? Does what it about it? Does it pose any problem to you? We'll see. I doubt it seriously. And by the way, this is live local network television in 1999, and families are watching. You take into the ring a lot of rage. Does that work for you, or does it work against you at times? You know, who cares? We're in a fight anyway. What, what, the, what, what does it matter? Well, for example, rage against uh, Vander Holyfield worked against you. Well, f*** it. It's a fight. So whatever happens, happens. Mike, why do you have to talk like that? Well, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. Do you have a problem? Turn off your station. You know what? I think we'll end the discussion right now. Then we could. You got it. Have a nice fight, Mike. F off. Floyd Mayweather. In May 2009, Floyd Mayweather Jr. went toe-to-toe -to -toe with his old friend Brian Kenny, on Sports Center in this hotly contested interview, touching on retirement, Oscar de la Hoya, and potentially facing Manny Pacquiao. Floyd Juan Manuel Marquez is an excellent fighter, but he's the lightweight champion of the world. Why pick a guy two weight classes lighter oh, than here, you? Oh, here we go again. So here we go again with this. Now you're the welterweight champ. No, no, this I'm, guy's I'm, the lightweight I'm, champ. I'm glad. I'm glad. I was waiting for you to say that. So Floyd Mayweather is in his 30s. Oscar De La Hoya is in his 30s. They meet up and fight. When we meet up and fight, when Oscar De La Hoya and Floyd Mayweather meet up and fight, and, and, and I beat him, but we both in our 30s. They say he's over the hill. But then when Pacquiao fights him, they say, Oh, this is the greatest thing we ever seen. So then when I fight Hatton, they say I'm too big for Hatton, but then they say... No, you got, nobody no, said no, no, that. No, you no. got full credit for both of those wins, Floyd. No, no, That's no, why you became no, a superstar. No, I did not. Yes, no, you I did. did not. No, I sure did you not. did. From are me, you gonna, are I you gave let you full credit. Piece? If you're talking am, to me now, am I, gonna speak I gave my you piece? full credit for that. Am I going to speak my piece or not? Go am ahead. I going to speak my piece or not? Go ahead. Okay, because you want to interview me. I ain't interviewing you. You want to talk to me. I don't want. I don't worry about talking to you. want to talk to me. go ahead. I'm waiting on you. The heat wasn't over yet. They kept arguing. Yes. Okay. Have... Pacquiao been outboxed by Eric Morales. What one fight he lost to him? Answer yeah. the question. Yes, he did. Has he been outboxed by Eric Morales? Yes. That's all I need to know. So why would you fight him? Ask you why, so why not fight him now, right now, away? Now I want to ask if you another question. If he's that easy. Now I want to ask you another question. Go ahead. Who's beat me? Nobody's beaten you yet. That's all Floyd. I want to know. So why pick a guy two weight classes that's, lighter? That's all I want to know. Why don't you well, answer Pacquiao one question for me? You're, you're picking on the small, lightweight so champ. You were the welterweight champ. I'm that's two weight him. classes lighter. Why go, not go after go a guy like look. Shane Mosley? He Shane Mosley me out. is the champ he in your weight out. class. He, Lots of guys call you listen, out, Floyd. Listen, he called me out. Why not go after Shane Mosley, who is the champ in your weight class right now? Why not Shane Mosley? Once again, like I said before, I don't fight for bragging rights. I don't fight for bragging rights. I prove myself. I proved myself. So and they continue to argue for a few more minutes. You can watch the full interview in the original video here. Football. Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo walks out of Real Madrid press conference in Rome. Fuera es del 30 de noviembre. ¿Por qué te está costando un poco más de trabajo marcar fuera? Desde que estoy en España, dime un jugador que ha marcado más goles que yo fuera de casa. Uno. No tienes. Se c'è qualcosa che ti contraddistingue, che tu hai sempre segnato, oh, che hai sempre segnato moltissimi gol, sia in casa che fuori casa. Ibrahimovic, following PSG's victory over Ren, Zlatan Ibrahimovic appeared to get annoyed with a question from the journalist, interviewing him and reacted in a very Zlatan manner. A lot of people speak about your relationship with uh, Edinson in the beginning of the arrival. A lot of people or you? A lot of press people, yeah. A lot of people or you? I, I, I speak from time to time about the relationship. What is the, the real relationship between you, you and the news? But you seem to know better than me. No, no, I don't know. I'm not but you're writing about it, not me. I, I'm waiting for you. I, I'd like to know. What but still, you're talking about it, so how do you know? How do you know? We know that we score a lot of goals since we're arriving, but sometimes in the game, you shouldn't uh, have some pass, some 
better relationship. Even the coach say that. And you know better football than me? No. So why are you talking? I ask you, do I do, I do my job? Are you a journalist or a camera guy? I am a journalist. So why are you holding the camera? You should have a camera guy, because no? My, because my boss wants to, to meet you. So he's low budget. <laughs> Basketball. Trip and Russell. Westbrook post-game interview. Russ, did you guys lose this game or did the Jazz win this one? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Shaquille O'Neal. Journalist asked a stupid question about Shaq's mother. Last question right here. Shaq, let's just say that a uh, snake bit your mom right up here, right in the chest area. Would you be willing to suck the venom out to win the title? No, but I will with your wife. <laughs> Thank you, Shaq. <laughs> NFL. Adrian Peterson. Reporter doesn't realize he's interviewing Adrian Peterson. About road rage. Road rage, huh? Yeah. So, uh, have you ever had anyone go road rage on you? Uh, I have. It's, it's been a long time, you know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I definitely had somebody go road rage on me. What yeah. happened? Point a gun at you? Oh, no. I didn't get to that level. Um, but kind of slammed the brakes in front of me. And uh, The reporter was still asking him some other questions. And he didn't notice yet until he asked his name. Yeah. You know, your life is, is too short to be on the highway, you know, swerving in front of people or, or speeding up, trying to catch up to people. It's, you never know what people, how they will react to it. Absolutely. All right, your name? Adrian Peterson. Hi. Wait a minute. You're not. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> I knew you were Derek Henderson. The meltdown after Monday Night Football, November 29th. What were you saying in that instance that you were trying to be positive that was funny? And I, I don't mean this to be sarcastic or, or pointed, but, I mean, that went out on Monday night television. A lot of fans are talking about it right now as a big problem with this team. Can you put into context what was going on at that moment? What caused you? What Deuce and I talk about is nobody else's business. But why was something funny when you're down 18 points in the fourth quarter? It wasn't, it wasn't funny. I wasn't laughing about anything. The camera showed you laughing. Okay, that's Coach, fine. That's fine. Coach that's fine. Commented about it. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not laughing about it. You think this is funny? I take this shit serious. I'm not I'm real just, serious. I, I put my heart and soul into this shit every single week. All I'm saying is the camera showed. I'm you I'm just laugh. telling you right now what I do every single week. Every single week, I put my freaking heart and soul into this. I study my ass off. I don't go out there and laugh. It's not funny. It's not fun. Nothing's funny to me. I don't want to go out there and get embarrassed. On Monday Night Football in front of everybody. That's why I'm asking you what. I'm was telling it? you right now, we're not. We're talking. Deuce and I are talking. What was the context in I'm which? Done. Sorry, I'm, I'm not dealing with him. And this is Shannon Sharp's interview with Cat Williams in Club Shay Shay podcast. In this interesting interview, Cat reveals the main reason why Hollywood hates him. Click on this video on the screen to watch the interview and other interesting interviews. If you like this video and want us to make more of this type of content, please hit the like button.